Well, welcome back to Good Day Columbia. I'm Courtney King. It's a big day, or yesterday was a big day in local sports since the Columbia Fireflies are now official. And I've got two special guests from the Fireflies, Abby Noss and Brad Shank, two of the VPs. So let's talk about this naming of the team. It's, it's great that it's finally official, but there was a contest mm -hmm. to name it. What was it like going through over 2,000 sub submittees for it? It was, it was pretty incredible. We had 2,319 names submitted last uh, the name the team contest started last October, um, so we had all of those names to go through, and um, it was we had a, a large group of us yeah. to sit down and go through all those names, and um, it was a long process, but we finally whittled it down to Fireflies. Were there any that were a close second? Yeah, you know, we we really thought that Fireflies was head and shoulders the best one. Um, we felt like it fit all the criteria that we wanted. Uh, there were a lot of uh, bulls, were a lot of submissions. Um, we had wrens, we had uh, all kinds of different heat, blaze, that kind of thing. Um, we wanted something a little more unique, and, and once we found out about the tie-in with Congaree National Park and the fireflies synchronizing for three weeks in early June, it's like, well, that, that's kind of what we want to do. We want people to, to really unite and, and come together at Spirit Communications Park, and it really it was a, a great way to tie in with the community, not only with that, but with the heat, with the, the fireflies and the flame part of it. Did people stay away from kind of that like capital theme, like capitals, or did you get some that were kind of like senators or names like that? No, we, we got quite a few. I mean, there, you know, I mean, there were still quite a few, you know, the Capital City Bombers, which obviously were, were here for a long time. Right. Uh, we did have some that tied in with the Capitals, right, the, right. Um, you know, the Senators, the, you know, some of those things. So there, there were some tie-ins, definitely. I think mm -hmm. we even had one that was filibusters, and that was, that <gasps> okay. would be an interesting, unique one, <laughs> well, but I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Interesting. Well, yesterday was such a big day hearing the name of the team, but today is big as well. Season tickets are on sale. Um, I mean, opening day is not till April, but why is it so important to get the season tickets out there now? Yeah, we really mainly because we've had people asking for a long time now. I mean, people are excited about the ballpark, and, and so once we actually got our identity and got our name, you know, that, that's the point where we said, okay, we need to give people an opportunity to, to kind of reserve their spot in line and get ready to pick out these tickets. So 11 a.m. today, they can go to ColumbiaFireflies.com, and there will be a link there, which will give them all of the season ticket pricing, everything from full season tickets all the way down to 12 game mini season packages for $99. Uh, and then that way they can put in their reservation and we'll actually take them out to the ballpark here in a couple months and let them pick their seats. Cool. And Abby, what are some of the plans for the future of the team in terms of like the entertainment, the family experience? Yeah, we're, we're definitely looking to do some really fun things. That's what the next few months are uh, for me. Um, I do all the marketing for the team. So just kind of coming up with all the unique and fun things. We view each of our, we have 70 home games uh -huh. that we'll play at Spirit Communications Park. Our first game is April 14th of next year. So. Uh, we view each game as a different event, and so we want each of the games to, um, each of our fans to come out and have a, uh, a unique experience at each one. Um, so we've got quite a bit of planning to do, whether it's a different theme night, a different promotion going on, maybe it's a Thirsty Thursday. Um, so yeah. we've got quite a quite a bit of a time to do that planning. I mean, it's kind of getting to be crunch time, but right. um, lots of different things um, to do, whether it's fireworks shows or like right. those theme nights that I said, but. Um, just different fun things that we can do for families or different corporate outings and things like that just to kind of create right. some good entertainment for, for the fans. Yeah, absolutely. Everyone loves the theme nights, at, yeah. especially yeah. at minor league games. They're yeah. so much fun. Yeah. You guys have some merchandise yes. with us. Do you want to show it off? Yeah, yeah. We have merchandise available right now on ColumbiaFireflies.com. And then we're also going to be at the Soda City Market um, on Saturdays, uh, starting this cool. Saturday, August 8th. Uh, with just we have some limited merchandise right now, uh, but we will have some more things uh, kind of as the months go along, and we can get some more stuff in. So, cool. 